Hello everyone, here we are going to continue with exercise 18.2 of the chapter menstruation. We have already did till question number 6 in our previous video. Now let's do question number 7. Here in question number 7 we have The perimeter of a trapezium is 52 cm. If its non parallel sides are 10 cm each and its altitude is 8 cm. Find the area of the trapezium. Now here we have got this figure as per the information given in the question in which the non parallel sides are of 10 cm each. The distance between the parallel sides is 8 cm and the perimeter of the trapezium is 52 cm. Very first of all, we are going to name the figure that is A, B, C and D. Now we know the perimeter is the sum of all the side. Therefore, this can be written as AB plus BC plus CD plus DA equals to 50. Now AB we won't have, so AB plus BC we are having 10 plus CD we have to calculate plus DA we are having 10 that is equals to 52. So AB plus CD equals to 52 minus 20 that is equals to 32 centimeter. Now we have got the sum of parallel side and we know the area of trapezium consists of half sum of parallel side into height. So here we have area of trapezium equals to 1 upon 2 into sum of parallel sides into height and this is equals to 1 upon 2 into the sum of these two is given as 32 into height we are having 8 and on solving this we will be having 16 and 16 8 are 128 centimeter square as answer. Now we are going to do question number 8. Here in question number 8 we have the area of a trapezium is 540 centimeter square. If the ratio of parallel sides is 7 is to 5 and the distance between them is 18 centimeter. Find the lengths of parallel sides. Now let the parallel sides in this question be 7x and 5x. The height is given to us as 18 centimeter and the area is given as 540 centimeter square. Now we know the formula for the area of trapezium is half into sum of parallel sides into height and that will be equals to 540. Now we are going to write 1 upon 2 into sum of parallel sides that is the sum of 7 and 5x. So here we have got this one into height we are having 18 and this is equals to 540. This 2 can cancel out this 18 to give 9 and this 7 and 5 will be giving you 12x equals to 540 upon 9. Then 9, 6 times so 60. So x equals to 60 upon 12 and this is giving you 5. So x equals to 5. Now with the help of this 5, we can find out the length of the parallel sides. So parallel sides are 7 into 5 that is equals to 35 centimeter and 5 into 5 that is equals to 25 centimeter as answer. Now let's do question number 9 first part. Here we are having this figure and we have to find the area of this one. Very first of all, we are going to divide this figure into two parts by drawing a perpendicular line from here. And as we are having a 90 degree over here and 3 90 degree in this quadrilateral, this means this is a rectangle. And as the opposite sides of rectangle are equal, so we will be having 5 to this side and this will be also of two sides as opposite sides of rectangle. Now we have this much as 2 cm and this whole is 7 cm. This means this part will be of 5 cm. Now let name this part as A and this part as B. So the area of part A that is a rectangle is L into B and this is equals to 5 into 2 and this will be 10 cm square. Then we are having the part B that is in the shape of trapezium. So the area of the part B that is trapezium is 1 upon 2 into sum of parallel sides into height. And this is equals to 1 upon 2 into sum of parallel sides that is 3 plus 5 into height that is 4 plus 5 that is will be 9. And this is equals to 1 upon 2 into 3 plus 5 that is 8 into 9. And this is 4 and here we get 4 into 9 that is 30. 6 centimeter square. 
Now the area of whole figure will be the sum of these two parts. So here we have area of figure equals to area of part A plus area of part B. That is equal to 10 plus 36. And this is equal to 46 centimeter square as answer. Now here we move to question number 9, second part in which we are having this figure. And we have to find the area of this figure. Now very first of all, we are going to divide this figure into three parts by drawing these lines. And here we are having a 90 degree at all the positions. So this is a rectangle. Again, this is also a rectangle. And as this is 2 centimeter, so this will be also 2 centimeter. And this one is 9 centimeter. So this is also 9 centimeter. Now for this rectangle, we are having the length and the breadth. For this rectangle also, we are having length and breadth. The middle portion, this is a type of a parallelogram in which the two parallel sides are these two and this one. So as this is 2 centimeter, this one is 2 centimeter. So the region lying between these two is 9 minus 2 minus 2 that is 5 centimeter. So here we have got the length as 5 centimeter. Now this 5 centimeter will act as the distance between the parallel sides and this length and this length will be 9 minus 7 that is of 2 centimeter each. Here also 9 minus 7 and here too 9 minus 7. So we are having the three parts in this figure that is A, B and C in which A and C are rectangle whereas B is parallelogram. So the area of rectangle A, so here the area of part A we are having length into breadth that is equals to 9 into 2 and this is 18 centimeter square and the area of the part B which is in the same of parallelogram base into height and this is equals to base we are having 2 and the height will be 5 and this is 10 centimeter square and then we have the area of part C and that is also a shape of rectangle therefore this will be length into breadth and here we have 9 into 2 that is equals to 18 centimeter square and now the area of whole figure will be the sum of all the three parts and here we have area figure equals to area part A plus part B plus part C. And this is equals to A we are having 18 centimeter plus B we are having 10 plus C we are having 18 again. That is 18 plus 18 36 and 36 plus 10 46 centimeter square as answer. Now let's move to question number 10. Here we are having this figure and we have to find the length of this part AD. Then we have to find the area of this whole triangle and then the area of this triangle BCD. So very first of all, we are going to find the length of this AD and in this triangle ABD, we are having 90 degree over here. Therefore, we can use Pythagoras theorem to find out the length of AD. And by Pythagoras theorem, we have BD square equals to AD square plus AB square. BD we are having 41, so 41 square. Then AD we have to calculate. So AD square plus AB we are having 40. So 40 square. And this will be equals to AD square equals to 41 square minus 40 square. Now AD square equals to this one is 1681 minus 1600. That is equals to 81. And AD will be equals to the root of 81. That is equals to 9 centimeter. So here we have got the length of this AD and now we have to find the area of this whole trapezium and the area of trapezium we have half into sum of parallel sides that is AB plus CD into height we are having AD and here it is 1 upon 2 into AB we have 40 plus 15 into height we have got 9 so this is equals to 1 upon 2 into 55 into 9 and the product of 55 and 9 is 495 upon 2 and this is equals to 247.5 centimeter square and now we have to find the area of triangle B C D so for that very first of all we are going to find the area of B A D and the area of triangle B A D will be half into base into height that is equals to 1 upon 2 into base we are having 40 into height we have got 9 so 2 we is going to cancel out to get 20 and this is 20 into 9 that is 180 centimeter square and now the area of triangle BCD will be area of trapezium ABCD minus area of triangle 
BAD and here we have got the area of trapezium ABCDS 247.5 so 247.5 minus this one that is 180 and this will be equal to 67.5 centimeter square as answer. Now let's do question number 11. Here we are having a photo frame in which this region is the area for the photo and this one is the border. Now we have to find the area of this all four parts and the dimension of the inner portion is given as 20 and 24 and the outer one is 28 and 32. Now to get the height of this trapezium shaped portion, this one is 20 centimeter for this much and this whole is 28. So 28 minus 20 is 8 or 8 ko hum do part mein divide karenge that is over here as well as over here. So 8 upon 2 is 4. So this one is of 4 centimeter each. Similarly this hole is 32 and this one is 24. So 32 minus 24 will be 8 and this 8 is going to be divided into this part and this one. So 8 upon 2 we have 4. So 4 centimeter each. Now let this part be A, this one be B, this one be C and this one be D and all of them are in the shape of trapezium. So very first of all we are going to find the area of trapezium A and here we have the area of trapezium A as half into sum of parasites into height and that is 1 upon 2 into sum of parasites we will be having this one is 24 then this will also 24 centimeter and this one is 32 so this is also 32 centimeter. So in this case, we will be having 24 plus 32 into height will be 4. So we have got 4 centimeter and this 2 can cancel out this 4 to get 2. The sum of these 2 will be 5 and 6 into 2 that is equal to 112 centimeter square. Now, as we have calculated the area of trapezium A, similarly we can calculate the area of trapezium C with the same dimension. So the area will be also of the same value. So here the area of trapezium C is 112 centimeter square. So area of trapezium A as well as C both are of 112 centimeter square. Now we are going to calculate the area of trapezium D. And here we have the area of trapezium D equals to 1 upon 2 into sum of parasites into height. And in this case the sum of parasites will be 20 plus 28. So this is 1 upon 2 into 20 plus 28 into height we are having. 4. So we can cancel it out to get 2 and this is 20 plus 28 that is 48 into 2 and that is equals to 96 centimeter square. Now as we have calculated the area of trapezium D similarly we can calculate the area of trapezium B and this one is also having the same dimension as of trapezium D. So the area of trapezium B equals to 96 centimeter square as answer. Now here we are moving to question number 12 in which we are having this figure and we have to find out the area of this whole figure. So first of we are going to find out the length of this BD with the help of Pythagoras theorem as here we are having 90 degree and this one is a right angled triangle. So in triangle ABD by Pythagoras theorem we get BD square equals to AB square plus AD square and here we have BD square equals to AB square we are having 6 square plus BAD we are having 8 square that is equals to 36 plus 64 and this is 100 and that implies BD square equals to the root of 100 and that is equals to 10 centimeter and after getting the BD as 10 centimeter we will be finding the length of the side CD. So by Pythagoras theorem BC square equals to BD square plus CD square and here the BC square we are having 26 square so 26 square plus BD we are having 10 so 10 square plus CD square and that implies CD square equals to 26 square minus 10 square that is 676 minus 100 and here we get 576 and this CD equals to the root of 576 that is equals to 24 centimeter. Now after getting the length of BD and CD we are going to find out the area of triangle ABD and area of triangle ABD equals to 1 upon 2 the base we can take AD and 
height will be AB and this is equals to 1 upon 2 into 8 into 6 and this is 4. So 4 into 6 that is 24 centimeter square. Then the area of triangle BDC and area of triangle BDC equals to 1 upon 2 into base into height. So BD into height we are having CD and this is equals to 1 upon 2 into base that is 10 into height CD we have calculated as 24. So 24 and this is going to give us 12. So 12 into 10 that is 120 centimeter square. Now the area of whole quadrilateral will be that is area of quadrilateral ABCD equals to the sum of the area of ABD plus area of triangle BDC that is 24 plus 1 to 0 and this is equals to 144 centimeter square as answer. That's all for this video. Thank you.